Sketchup, Rhino. What are the similarities? You would say both are 3D modeling software. But in this video, we're gonna discuss all their differences. Not only Sketchup, we're gonna dive deep into what makes Rhino so special and why it's gonna play an important role in the future of architecture. What's going on, fellas? I'm Geo, and this is Geo Creations. You can find me on Instagram as Geo German. Let's jump right into the video. Okay, let's see the reasons why an architect needs to know what is Rhino. To explain this, we have to know the concept of parametric architecture. Parametric design is a process based on algorithms and computational inputs that enables the expression of parameters that define the relationship between design intent, which is input, and design responses, which is output. To simplify that, any design that involves in a set of algorithms which helps to generate an output. For example, here you can see how this music affects this form. So here we actually took the data from a music and fit it into the scale component. Just like that, we have hundreds of possibilities and you can create almost anything using these parametric tools. And these kind of programs are getting more and more popular because of its simulation capabilities and also because of the way it uses artificial intelligence. It's not only used to visualize your design but also helps to build it in real life. Some of the well-known software to do this kind of stuff are Dynamo for Revit and Grasshopper for Rhino. Today, we're gonna dive deep into Rhino and Grasshopper and how it compares with other modeling software programs and I plan to create Grasshopper tutorials in the near future. So make sure to subscribe so that you won't miss that. Rhino is developed by Robert McNeil and Associates, launched in 1998 and Grasshopper was launched in 2007. And it was a standalone plugin for Rhino and only became a part of Rhino after version 6. Now Rhino version 7 is working at its best with its powerful freeform tool SubD and with its outstanding programming tool Grasshopper. Now let's see what Rhino can offer as compared to other 3D programs. If you are following this channel for a while, you may already know most of our content actually revolves around SketchUp. I made a video on how to create complex model in SketchUp itself. You can check that after watching this. The links in the description. In that video, we saw some examples for how to create freeform structure in SketchUp itself. So, how does it differ from parametric modeling? That's where a lot of people get confused. Just because your model looks quirky, it doesn't mean it's parametric modeling. This is called freeform modeling. Same thing applies to stuff done only using Rhino. Any given model is called a parametric model only when it's associated with specific algorithms. This twisted tower is a basic example for parametric modeling, and there I have generated an organic map. So, this kind of stuff is really difficult and time consuming for freeform modeling. Now, let's see some of the pros for using SketchUp. SketchUp is a great tool to start with 3D modeling and you can always increase its potential using plugins in its native extension warehouse. I've already made a video about it, I'll link it down in the description. Even today, I use it as my primary tool. It's because it's really quick and user friendly. For example, if you are modeling a house and have to punch some holes, you can just draw a shape and push it over. But when it comes to Rhino, you have to go for the boolean operation every single time. So the model stuff that has a lot of small details, for example, while modeling for interior design, you will constantly change stuff, experiment with different components, doing minor changes frequently, etc. And it has its native library of 3D model called 3D Warehouse which allows you to import thousands of 3D models straight into your model. And let's see some of its cons. Although SketchUp can do multiple stuff easily, it's really hard to do fluidic stuff even with the help of its plugins. It's time consuming and the way SketchUp manages its mesh is terrible. I usually import my complex models from Rhino to SketchUp to detail out the scene. But while doing that, it struggles like anything and you can see here, Rhino handles the same amount of measures like a charm. I usually make a proxy and make them both meet in Lumion. Now let's see if Rhino is for you. 
Dino allows you to do endless stuff from complex modeling to simulations using artificial intelligence. And there's a huge market for computational design today and it's rapidly increasing day by day. And if you want to see yourself doing crazy stuff like this, definitely consider learning. And I also want to make it clear that it's not for everyone. Its learning curve is pretty steep. You actually don't necessarily have to learn this to call yourself an architect. It totally depends upon what type of design you do. If you find this video informative, consider leaving a like, share this video with someone who finds this useful and make sure to subscribe to the channel so that you can be a part of this community. Catch you guys in the next video. See ya.